Hey guys, welcome back to DIY with me. I'm so happy you're here today. It turned chilly here in North Carolina and I thought it was supposed to be spring. Um, tomorrow's the first day of spring and yet what? We don't have spring type weather. It's actually like 50, 40s and 50s. I have the heater on here in the office and I, my sweatshirt is back with me. So today I'm gonna show you a very quick and easy DIY. Um, I'm taking it one step further in coloring or painting the, the bunnies, but you don't have to take the, it that step further. I'm gonna zoom in real quick so you can see what we're doing. So what you're gonna need for this particular craft is you're going to need a piece of canvas cardboard whatever you want to use as your decor item i like the canvas that already has like a framed canvas because you can sit it up like this and it won't fall over well it really is falling over but you can use it in your holiday decor you can use it when you are um when you're styling a tiered table or a tiered tray, you can use these little signs and it'd be really cute. Now, I do have some of these wooden cutouts that I got at the Dollar Tree. They look like this, but I love these because they're so versatile. You can do so many things with them. You can have it to where you can you can leave them blank or you can like if you have a multicultural family, you can color them each color. It doesn't matter, but today I I could easily have put this like this and left them all the same color and just done a just a plain canvas. Um, and you also can paint your canvas as well. I chose not to paint it because I like the simplicity of having the, the plain canvas. But I'm going to paint them. And of course, it's Easter time. And what do we normally see at Easter time? But those marshmallow peeps. So I decided to make a peep decor item for you using these wooden bunnies, this canvas a hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, and paint pens. I'm choosing to use paint pens because they're a lot easier. I can easily punch them in really quick and they're done and it's easy to do and I don't have to worry about it. And I also love the fact that when I go to prime them, it doesn't take a lot for me to prime them. Like as you see, I've already painted two of the bunnies out already. And so I have a, the third bunny. And this one I just pulled out to show you what it looks like. Um, I can get these in a pack of 12. Super easy. So this one, this paint pen has not been primed yet. As you see, it's not, it's, it's white. There's no color in the pen. So the first thing you need to do once you take off, it becomes it comes in a plastic wrap like this. You need to shake it up a little bit to get that um, paint moving down to the bottom of the pen. You shake it up. And then you're going to take it and you're just going to push it down until you see some color coming in your pen. Now, see, the color is starting to come on the pen. You can barely see it, but it's right there. Now you can see. See the colors in the pen now. Now we're just priming a couple more times just to have it really well. And then all you're going to do is you're going to come. And what I did was I just cut off the ears. I just paint them in sections. So I feel like I'm getting something something accomplished. But you don't have to. And you're just going to come and you're just going to paint your bunny. Now I chose the, the pastel colors, um, but you can paint them any color you want. And what I love about this is if I decided if I had really wanted to, and if I, the canvas was bigger, I could have made bunnies with all the kids' names on them. And if I did, this bunny would have been green and not yellow because that my youngest daughter, her favorite color is green. And you're just using it like a marker. Now, if you don't have paint pens, but you do have Sharpies, Sharpies work just as well, but they tend to bleed into the wood and the color may be darker than what you're normally used to or what may be on the paint pen because depending on the color of the bunny. Also, too, I will say with Sharpies, it soaks up, the wood soaks up the color more. So I'm just adding it in. See, I'm doing this. I'm just making a square and coloring in the square. I'm just going around. You can paint it in all different ways you want, but there's something about a sense of accomplishment when you know that you've filled in something. Now you may recall I used these bunnies on the wooden napkin rings. They're versatile in almost everything. When you get down to the tail, you might have a problem. So what I would just do is I would just push down around the cotton tail because if you do that, 
it comes out a little bit more and you'll be able to have it. So there are bunnies. Our bunnies are good. And now the next thing. I'm going to go ahead and get out a glue stick because I know that I'm going to need one because I can already see that it's not full here. But this one does not allow me to put one in until afterwards. So with that, I'm just going to glue these on. So I decided I was going to do this color. I was going to do the, the purple, then the yellow, then the pink because I just thought it would be pretty. And you're just going to place some glue on the back of your bunny and place it down. Now, if you have some Easter grass and you want to come back on the bottom and put Easter grass, you can 100% do that. This is just a quick and easy craft that you can do. Um, this would be great, like if you have grandparents and you want to give them something for Easter. You can give them something like this for grandparents for Easter with all the grandkids' names on it. It'd be really cute. See, once I once I hear that click, I know it's time to put more hot glue in. Once I hear the click, and I, this this hot glue gun's the only one that has that click. And and once but once I know it's there, I know it's time to put it on. So now I have my bunnies on my little thing cute right really cute like i said you could paint your canvas you could put the easter grass on the bottom but then you could put the grandkids names on it or your kids names on them but i wanted to kind of write something else on them so i have my black paint pen but you can also use a black sharpie and i'm just going to write the word hop on them so i'm going to put h i have a little piece of black gunk on there so let me cut it off o and there you go guys a little cute little easter craft that took us less than 10 minutes to make with wooden bunnies a canvas paint pens and a sharpie no and glue guns so until next time guys bye